Hello everyone, it's me ASM welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials. Actually, this one is not Photoshop or Lightroom tutorials. This one is uh, uh, good news for you guys, those who are using the Photoshop and Lightroom and those who are using XMP file in a uh, Photoshop, they can use this XMP file in your Lightroom as well. And uh, let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So hope that all are safe in a home and stayed at home and all are safe from the COVID-19 and stay safe, stay aware for that. Don't go outside and be clean uh, randomly and let's go to the tutorial. So here is my uh, PSD or Photoshop. So I made some preset like uh, that preset which I made in the last night and if I uh, go to the filter at first i have to and go to the filter and camera filter and this one is the process you know that in camera filter you can insert from here go to the load settings options and you can insert the xmp file suppose this xmp file and i'm you're getting instant solution or instant uh, preset or the effects in your photo and then let's go to the lightroom and same photo if i insert these things in this folder i'm just deselect all the things this photo this photo or this photo okay fine and import these things and the same preset i will apply in the lightroom which is the example the name was five so the preset was five here in a in the user preset options uh, if you go to the upper side you will get a plus sign over here and go to the import preset if you press that import preset or that uh, menu and you'll get that things and now i'll insert that preset the five number preset which i made it for you guys and this one and import this one it will take time and it will add in your user preset so number five it will be in a upper side yeah this one and i'll apply that things let's see the before and after so same effects you are getting here and here and vice versa if i see in a lightroom panel suppose here is so i'll go to the preset menu or preset directory right press and show in a folder so here uh, if i pick the preset wedding preset number 10 i'm copying these things and copy the wedding preset and i'm taking this preset into my today's folder and pasting it out pasting the item and now if i consider this photo or uh, suppose press ctrl or command j in the photoshop go to the filter and camera filter then go to the load settings options and which i just copied from the lightroom directory and i'm using that things and load it up the effect is not perfect but i'm preset is working that's the main reason or main cause so you can use the example file in a photoshop and lightroom in a both both software so the live easier hacks is like that save your file into xmp file and you can use in a photoshop and lightroom as well so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may say i'm signing out today keep me in your prayers and hope that all are safe and all keep in a safe take care bye bye